community and I am a math teacher for Upper School for Powhatan and I love hands-on activities. I think it's a great way for students to learn. I use it to lead into activities. I also lead in, use it to reinforce activities as we uh, are finishing a unit. We just finished up a geometry unit where we were doing nets and getting ready to talk about congruent triangles and we built tetrahedron kites and we went out and flew them one day. Um, it was quite exciting. Kids had a great time. In my algebra class, we just did a, a started a unit on linear um, progressions and so I introduced that with a Barbie bungee activity. Students took a day to collect data where they were measuring how far Barbie would drop with bungee using rubber bands. This allowed them to create a model. We put that into a linear regression um, equation maker and then they made a model. We then took our Barbies out and I told them that we were gonna drop these, I believe it was 14 feet, 11 inches, and they had to put that information into their linear regression to see how good their model was. We tied those rubber bands up and we let Barbie bungee off our second floor of our walkway. We had some exciting um, results. A couple of them, the hair just grazed the sidewalk. A couple of them didn't quite make it, but that was all right. But then that allowed us to talk about looking at um, rate, rates and slopes and how adding one rubber band changed the distance over time. And that led into us being able to do our linear models.